Hello, Leo. Welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out your playlist. I have a playlist specifically for Leo and it's linked in the description box. So you might find more videos there that resonate for you. All right, Leo, let's jump right into it for Leo spirit regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time what are this person's energies towards leo the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time what are their energies towards leo what are their energies towards leo judgment Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. Okay, so effort, a personal awakening, realizations with judgment. Page of Pentacles is kind of starting something small, making a small promise or offer that even though it is small, there's potential for more. Eight of Pentacles is someone that puts in a lot of effort, very dedicated person. Time and effort has been spent here with the eight of pentacles i think your person thinks that it would take quite a bit of effort to do something with you to either you know reconnect with you or start a new relationship with you or just be with you it would take effort for some reason okay tell me more about the energies here tell me more about the energies for leo what do we need to know spirit we need to know about this person. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought new clarity and then balancing act, juggling and decision balance. Wedding bells and closed off. Wedding bells are ringing. Being closed off may blind you to the truth. Interesting. Reach out at the bottom of the deck. I think this is what your person would like to do. But I think that they're closed off from you at this time. Maybe that's why it would take some effort. Um, wedding bells is here. So either they're wanting to commit to you or one of you is already in a commitment. We'll see if that comes up again. But whoever, regardless of the situation, um, this person is realizing something. They've had sudden clarity and epiphany, some sort of awakening where they've realized something. I think that this person has been undecided about something and we're going to find out because I, I'm going to clarify judgment. Um, oh, the devil Capricorn energy. So tell me more spirit. Let's get some more insight here. Tell me more about judgment. What's going on here for Leo? Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment? Queen of swords. Yeah. Tell me about judgment. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Emperor, Aries, shows up in a Leo reading as always. Tell me about judgment. Death, Scorpio energy. And then there's the Nine of Wands. So what I'm getting here with all of these energies together, whatever this realization is, it's big. I think your person's changing or has changed or will be changing something in their life because of this realization. The emperor, they're doers. They make things happen. They take action. They um, stabilize a situation. They get a hold of a situation. Queen of Swords is very honest, a little too honest sometimes. I think that this is you. I think you're hard to approach or your person thinks you'd be hard to approach. Um, I also feel like when it comes to this person, there's like a cold energy. Like maybe you're cold with this person or just very distant from this person. I feel like if, if this person were to talk to you, all you would want to know is the truth. You don't want to hear anything else. Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Hangman at the bottom of the deck. So fear, anxiety, stress, 
stuck energy. This is someone that's not taking action. They're just... I think your person possibly is feeling terrible about something, but I don't know why. Either they feel like they've just made mistake after mistake after mistake, and this is like a self-inflicted situation, like, you know, they did it to themselves, or they are stressed about you in some way. Let's see what the State of Pentacles is about. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Three of Cups. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups. Mm. I don't think and uh, um, things did not end well with this person. I think that's why it would take a lot of work for them to balance things out because I feel like one of you walked away. That's why there's a distance. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Your person is starting off small with you. Page of Pentacles is like, let's meet up. Let's go have a coffee, a drink. It's a small token. But it has a, it has a potential for more. Knight of Swords. I'm not going to take all of these. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I think they're going to reach out with like a small offer. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Hangman. There's hesitation, yeah, because of doubt. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. So it's like going back and forth about whether to... I, I think this person has wanted to reach out for a while and hasn't. Let's see, can I get some more insight on this situation? Can I get some more insight on this situation for Leo? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Leo? Heart to heart conversations and separation. So since you're not together, I feel like this person, there, there's a, they would love to have a heart to heart with you. Where they can be honest with you about their feelings. But there's hesitation, the hangman. I think they're scared to approach you personally. Like that's just what I pick, I'm picking up here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Leo. What are their energies towards Leo? What are their energies towards Leo? I want a second chance. Leo, I swear. You guys have someone like following you. <laughs> All they think about, you know, and it's just reading after reading after reading. It doesn't matter. I'm using a whole new deck. Like, I, I haven't used the Lightseer's deck in months. <laughs> Tell me about this person's energies towards Leo. I don't know what to do. Yeah, there's this person has been wanting a second chance for, I feel like, forever. You're my soulmate. But they haven't pulled the trigger and it just keeps coming up. This energy of wanting to reunite, wanting to heal, wanting to reach out. The reason it keeps coming up is because this person has not been able to follow through. I feel like this person is too scared. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Leo. I love you unconditionally. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? 
I regret lying to you. So this person was not honest with you. I'm starting to understand her connection, bottom of the deck. Maybe that's why they're having realizations. They're having realizations that maybe there is no one else for them. Or that you are my, you know, you are my soulmate. You are the person for them. They have regrets because I, and, and I feel like this person, for some of you, they were not honest about being single. For others of you, they were not honest about committing to you. Maybe they told you they would commit to you. Maybe they told you that they would actually like be in a relationship with you, but that wasn't true. And I feel like that's why there's a separation. There's, you know, there was an ending or, or there's this closed off energy. So what can we expect? What can we expect in the near future from this person? What are their true intentions next actions towards Leo? What can we expect from this person? What do we expect from this person in the near future? What can we expect from them in the near future? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. What can we expect from them in the near future? The Emperor, Aries energy. What can we expect from them in the near future? What can we expect from this person? Three of Cups. I feel like they're going to try. Oh my gosh. And there's a hangman again at the bottom of the deck. So take what I just said with a grain of salt. Because, yeah. And there's the Knight of Wands right behind this person. This person is like frustrating me, to be honest. Because I don't know what to do. No, you do know what to do. You do know what to do. You're just too scared to do it. You are a hangman. You're just hanging around. When you should be an emperor. Oh, the Hierophant. I feel like this person wants to prove to you that maybe I wasn't serious about us before. Maybe I wasn't ready. You know, I wasn't, I was stupid, whatever the case may be. And I'll, I'm willing to commit to you now with the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. The Seven of Coin. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups. I feel like this person's going to be honest with you. Listen, I don't know if this is really going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do whatever it takes so that we can get this Ten of Cups, Leo. And maybe you have doubts about me, you know, actually making this happen. Maybe the future, we don't know what the future holds, but let's not let, let's not let that hold us back. Tell me about the emperor. What does this emperor want to do? Why is this emperor here? The strength card, Leo energy. Wow, Aries and Leo together. How fitting. <laughs> Tell me about the emperor. Five of wands. And what's this that? fall on the other side six of wands three of wands six of swords yeah this person thinks there's going to be it's like a battle with you fighting for you competing for your attention competing for you to take them serious i feel like they're headed your way i really do like they're in this boat and then you're waiting for this boat to come in. This person might even say, I'm on my way. You know, very like brave, very courageous. I'm on my way. I think in their mind, they're, they're picturing a battle or some sort of like pushback from you, but they will win that battle because they have to. <laughs> Tell me about the three of cups. Tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? King of coin. Tell me about the three of cups. Ten of swords. I feel like if this person was in another situation that I think they're going to end it. And that's going to be like the proof. Yeah. And they're going to tell you about it. Page of swords. 
whatever was between us is no longer whatever was keeping us from like being together that's no longer an issue that has ended etc etc Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the king of coin I think that's this person's like whole angle here tell me more about this emperor one one more tell me about the emperor why is the emperor here two of swords interesting this is i feel what they're going to expect from you very this is reminding me of the queen of swords maybe you're going to be undecided unsure maybe you're going to fight fight them on this like i'm not interested but i feel like they're genuine about what they have to tell you page of cups at the bottom of the deck here maybe it's an apology maybe it's them you know, expressing, uh, you know, heart to heart conversation, you know, I think they just want to talk, but I don't think that's true. It's almost like they want to say, I'm picturing someone that's like, I just want to talk, but that's not true. It's, they want that conversation to lead to something else. That's not to say they aren't genuine because the page of cups, page of swords, these two would actually be genuine about what they said. And so is the page of pentacles. Page of Wands is the one that's more like having a good time or is it the adventurer? What else do we need to know from this person? What else do we need to know, Spirit? About this person's energy towards... I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Yeah. I can't deny that you are my soulmate. Yeah, they. this is like this thing with them. You are the only one. Yeah, and they're, they're right after that. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Definitely. Every time that they're like, I'm going to, I know what I want to, I have to do. And then they like, no, I don't know what I want to do. No, they do. They just, they're too, they're too chicken to do it. That's really the truth. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you. Um, if this reading resonated for you or you just want to say hello, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And I will hopefully see you all in another video very soon. Take care.